In the last two lectures, we have been studying about an example of pushdown automata where we have designed a pushdown automata that accepts even palindromes. And in the last lecture, we have seen an example where we took a string called ABBA, which was an even palindrome, and we passed it to the pushdown automata and we saw clearly how the pushdown automata works step by step for accepting the even palindromes. And the problem that we faced was that how do we know that we have reached the midpoint of our string so that the pushdown automata knows that it has to go from state Q2 to Q3 and compare the two halves of the string. And we solved that problem by introducing epsilon on each and every sides of every symbols. And that is how we solved the problem and we saw how the pushdown automata was working. So before you proceed with this example, if you need to know how we have designed this push automata, I request you to watch the previous lectures regarding this. Alright, now we are going to take another example, which is the string A, B, A, B. And we are going to pass it to our push automata and we will see how it reacts to this. Now we see that this is not an even palindrome. Why? Because if you read it from the front, it reads as A, B, A, B. And if you read it from the back, it reads as B, A, B, A. So since they are not the same from forward and backward, it is not an even palindrome. And the pushdown automata that we have designed should not accept this string or it should reject this string. So let's see how it works. So the first thing what we have to do is we have to assume that there are epsilons on each and every sides of every symbols. So once we have the epsilons on each and every sides of every symbols as shown here, now we can proceed by passing this to the pushdown automata. Now let's see what are the ways in which we can pass this string and what does it lead to in the end. Alright, so here I have drawn the stack diagram for this problem as well. So here I have the stack diagram and I will be explaining it to you step by step. So first let's see. So initially we have this epsilon symbol which is the first symbol in our string and if we are getting epsilon what happens? We are in state Q1 and in Q1 if you get epsilon it does not pop anything but it just pushes the first element Z0 to the stack. So that is what I have shown here. We are in state Q1 and on getting epsilon which is this epsilon it just goes to state Q2 and it pushes the first symbol Z0 to the stack. Now after doing that the next symbol that we get is A. The first input symbol we get is A. Now when we get this input symbol A what happens? We are in state Q2 and in Q2 if you get A it just pushes A to the stack and it does not pop anything. So that is what happened here. If you get A it just pushes A into the stack and it does not change the state it still remains in state Q2. Now after we read this A, now we have two options. We can either read epsilon or we can either read B. Now let's see what will happen if we read epsilon or B. First of all, if you read epsilon then what happens? In state Q2, if you read epsilon then it just goes to state Q3 without pushing or popping anything. So if you read epsilon, that is this epsilon, then the state Q2, it just goes to state Q3 and the stack remained unchanged. Now let us continue in this path and see what happens. Now if you read this epsilon, what happened is we read this epsilon right here and the next symbol that we get is B or you can also read epsilon. You have two options. Once you read this epsilon, you can either read B or epsilon over here. So let's see what happens if we read either B or epsilon in this state Q3. So in state Q3, if you happen to read B, then what happens? In state Q3, if you get B, you have to check whether B is the topmost symbol of the stack and if it is, you can pop it. But if you look here, if you are trying to read B, you have to check if B is the topmost element or symbol of the stack, but it is not. The topmost symbol of our stack is A. So this route or this direction is wrong, it cannot proceed anymore. And then the other option that we said was that we can either read B or we can also read epsilon. Now if you read epsilon, then what happens? If you read epsilon in state Q3, then you have to check whether Z0 is the topmost symbol of our stack. And if it is, then you can pop it and go to the final state Q4. So let us see. We were over here and if we are going to read epsilon, you have to check if Z0 is the topmost symbol of our stack. So this is our stack and when you check here, you see that Z0 is not the topmost symbol, it is A. So this also cannot proceed and these two 
routes or paths have failed. So since this path has already failed, now the only path remaining is this one. That was after A, instead of reading epsilon, we read B. So it is this one I am talking about, this one over here. So instead of reading epsilon, we read a B. Now if you read B, you are in state Q2 and if you read B, what happens? In state Q2, if you read B, B is just pushed to the stack and nothing is popped from the stack and we still remain in state Q2. So that is what I have shown here. If you read B, you still remain in state Q2 and that B is just pushed on to the stack. This was the stack we had and we have B added to the top of the stack. So we have finished reading this B. We are at this point right now and at this point you again have two options for the next input that is either epsilon or A. Now let's see what will happen if we read epsilon and let's see what will happen if we read A. First let us read this epsilon. So if you read epsilon in state Q2, what happens? Let's check our PDA. In state Q2, if you read epsilon, you have to go to state Q3 without pushing or popping anything. So that is what happened here. If I read epsilon, it just goes to state Q3 from Q2, came to state Q3 and then the stack remains unchanged. It is just the same. So let us proceed in this path and see what happens. Now, we have read this epsilon as I told you. Now after reading this epsilon, when you are at this point, you have two options again. That is either to read A or you can either read this epsilon over here. So let's see if we read this A what happens and if we read this epsilon what happens. So we are going to check in state Q3 what will happen if we read either A or epsilon. This is not B, this should be an A. Alright, in state Q3 if you read A, let's see what happens. I am talking about this A over here. So in state Q3, if you read A, you have to check if A is on top of the stack and if it is, you can pop it. Now, if you look here, this is the A that we read and if we are going to read this A, we have to check our stack which is this one and we see that we don't have A on top of the stack. The topmost symbol of the stack is B. So this path also cannot proceed and it fails. Now the next option is to read an epsilon. So I am talking about this epsilon over here. So if you read this epsilon in state Q3, what happens? You have to check if Z0 is the topmost symbol of the stack and if it is, you can pop it and go to state Q4. Now let us check that. We are over here and if you read epsilon, then you have to check if Z0 is the topmost element of our stack. But it is not. Our stack is this one and then the topmost symbol of our stack is B and not Z0. So this also cannot proceed. So this path has also failed. So we see that we came like this reading epsilon and we came here and we see that both the paths here has failed. So this path is wrong and it cannot proceed. So the only path left is this one now. And which was this path? This was the path where we read A and then B and now instead of reading epsilon, we read A, we read B and instead of reading epsilon, we are going to read this A. So if you read A, then let's see what happens. So we are in state Q2 and in Q2, if you get A, then what will happen? In state Q2, if you get A, you have to just push that A to the stack and still stay in state Q2. Now let's do that. We are here in state Q2 and if you read A here, then that A is just pushed on to the stack. This is the stack we had and we have added this A to the top of the stack and we still stay in state Q2. Alright, now let's see what are the options we have to proceed after this. So this A is what we have read and now we have two options that is either to read this epsilon or to read this B. Now let's see what will happen if we read epsilon or B. Now we are in state Q2 and we will read epsilon and see what happens. In state Q2, if you read epsilon, then what happens? You have to go to state Q3 without changing anything on the stack. So, in state Q2, if I read epsilon, I just go to state Q3, but we don't change anything on the stack. The stack remains exactly the same like this. Now, let us look at our input symbols again. We have read this epsilon and now if you read this, you have two options remaining. That is either to read this B or this epsilon over here. So, let's see if we read this B or epsilon, what will happen? So, if you remember, we are in state Q3 right here. And let's see if we get epsilon in state Q3 what happens. You have to check if Z0 is on top of the 
stack and if it is you can pop it and go to the final state so if we look here if we are going to read epsilon you have to check if z0 is on the top of the stack but it is not the top of our stack has a as its topmost symbol so this path fails now our other option was to read b now in q3 if you read b then what happens if you read b in state q3 you have to check if b is the topmost symbol of the stack and if it is you can pop it now if you check here if you are going to read this b over here in state q3 you have to check if b is the topmost symbol of our stack let's check this is our stack but no b is not the topmost symbol of our stack it is a so this path also fails so this path also fails if you read an epsilon so the only option remaining is to read b now which is that b i am talking about it is this b over here so instead of reading this epsilon we are reading b now and we are in state which state are we in let us just check we are in state q2 and in q2 if you read b then what happens in state q2 if you read b then you have to just push that b into the stack without popping anything from the stack so in state q2 you are reading b and if we read b we just push that b into the stack this was the stack we had and this b we just put or pushed on top of the stack now this is the stack we have and the state remains unchanged we are still in state q2 now let us see our in input symbols where have we reached we are in this position now b and now the only symbol that is left is this epsilon so our only choice is to read this epsilon right now and in which state are we we are in state q2 and in q2 if you read epsilon then what happens if you read epsilon you have to go to state q3 without changing anything on the stack so let us do that in state q2 we read epsilon and what happens we just go to state q3 and our stack remains unchanged so this is the stack we have it is unchanged we just moved from state q2 to q3 now if you check our input symbols the string has ended we don't have any more strings now we have read this final epsilon and there is nothing left to read and when we are in this position what is the condition of our stack our stack has many elements or many symbols in it and also we have not reached the final state we are still in state q3 which is not the final state our final state in our pda is q4 so at the end of the string we see that we have not reached the final state and also our stack is not empty so we saw that each and every conditions that we had in this example through any route that you go or any path that you take it either leads to failure or it never leads to the final state and also it never leads to an empty stack so here we don't have any condition for accepting this string and hence this string is not accepted and we know that this was not going to be accepted why because this is not an even palindrome this is how the push on automata works for rejecting a string so when a string has to be rejected you will not get any path that leads to the final state and your stack also may never be empty at the end of the execution so this is how a string is rejected in a pushdown automata so i hope this was clear to you if you want to know how we designed this i advise you to watch the previous lectures so thank you for watching this and see you in the next one